If you've just received the news that you or your child need braces, hold on, listen to this video before you spend another dollar or another minute at your orthodontist. I'm gonna help you figure out through this video how to select the right orthodontist, how to know that you are on the right treatment pathway, and if you need other educated professionals helping you to guide along the way. So the big question we're gonna answer first, why do teeth become crooked? Are we just all born genetically deformed and our teeth are supposed to come in crooked? Not at all. If you look back at old skulls, you're not looking, but when anthropologists look back at old skulls, from before we processed foods, they actually find that these skulls had straight teeth and they also find something that seems like it's unconnected, or how is this connected, we kind of question. The nasal septum is straight too. We're gonna answer why these things change through the processing of food as we go along in this video. So to first explain how do teeth grow, how does the mid face grow, and that all comes back to this bone in the middle of our face that we call the maxilla. The maxilla is actually a plate of bone that's actually two bones, one on the left side, one on the right side, and as a baby is in utero or a fetus inside their mom's womb, those bones grow together. If they don't, it's called a cleft. But in most of us, we're fortunate enough that those bones have grown together. But as we grow bigger, we're gonna need to actually have the face grow larger to accommodate larger tongue structures in our larger adult body. That is all driven by our tongue. So your very first question should be, did my orthodontist evaluate for the position of my tongue? Does my tongue rest on the roof of my mouth? Can I get it up to the roof of my mouth easily or does it rest down on the floor of the mouth? And it's hard to actually get the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Now that we have an understanding that an orthodontist needs to evaluate for the tongue sitting on the roof of the mouth, the question is why? Our teeth sit in the bone called the maxilla. It's the crooked teeth that we see as the problem, but that's not the initial problem. We need to go back up and figure out the teeth sitting in the maxilla that are crooked that the orthodontist is offering to straighten should have grown in straight, but they didn't because the tongue didn't sit up on the maxilla. When the tongue sits on the roof of the mouth, the mouth actually grows around the tongue. Therefore, the teeth have room to be in the mouth and will actually grow in straight. So our question to each and every person who needs orthodontia braces is why is there not enough room for those teeth to be straight? And that goes back to, well, why is the tongue not sitting on the roof of the mouth? Problem number one, there can be tethering or tongue ties that prevent the tongue from actually sitting up there. Problem number two can be nasal obstruction. So if a nose is obstructed or stuffy or frequent colds or allergies, we're gonna breathe through our mouth, right? As we breathe through our mouth, what happens is the facial muscles pull everything in to be more narrow. The tongue has to go to the floor of the mouth so that you can breathe. And then as things become more narrow, the hard palate starts to vault up. That vaulting up creates even more narrowness within the mouth. And we can see that because the roof of the mouth is the floor of the nose, when we push up on the floor of the nose, the septum in the center here gets pushed to the side and is the number one reason we form a deviated septum. So now we identify that we need to have our tongue on the roof of our mouth. And if we can't get it up there, whether it is a tethering of the tissue of the tongue, or if it's nasal obstruction, those issues need to be addressed first before you go through orthodontia. That is where an oral myofunctional therapist and an ENT or otolaryngologist play a critical role. If your orthodontist is not asking the question, why does this patient need braces? They're missing the cause. And when you miss the cause, you can almost expect you're going to need a second and a third set of braces, or you'll need a permanent retainer, or you'll need to sleep with a retainer every night just to prevent your teeth from shifting. When the cause is addressed, the tongue rests on the roof of the mouth, and we may need those orthodontists to actually make the palate bigger, to straighten the teeth out. You may need a oral myofunctional therapist to teach you or your child how to keep the tongue on the roof of the mouth. You may need a specialist to actually release some of the tethered tissue that's keeping the tongue from being able to move. You may need an otolaryngologist 
or an ear, nose, and throat physician to be able to help your child breathe through their nose. The right orthodontist is going to be thinking about what's the cause for these crooked teeth. When we tie it all together for the big picture, we know that once we address the tethered tissue of the tongue, the chronic mouth breathing, nasal airway obstruction, and any anatomical issues that are preventing us from breathing through the nose, we can see that sometimes the maxilla can expand on its own. You may ultimately end up with an orthodontist who is looking to improve the airway and make a beautiful smile. Orthodontics is not just about beautiful smiles. Orthodontics needs to be about airway and beautiful smiles. If your orthodontist is not focused on the airway and on a beautiful smile, find a new orthodontist. If you enjoyed this content and you wanna hear more as we dive in deeper, subscribe to our channel. Please hit the like button and we'll see you again next time.